Joining us now on the phone is Richard Nixon's younger brother, Ed Nixon. He's joining us from Seattle. He's recently written a book, uh, The Nixons, A Family Portrait. Mr. Nixon, where were you on August 8th and 9th? And uh, just give us a general sense of what was going on. Hi there. I um, had my family with me in the Cascade Mountains at a campsite and um, rather expected something of this sort coming down the line, um, knowing that uh, Dick would do the best thing for the country, regardless of what it did to him or anybody else in the family. It really it was something that he felt. Um, and it, really, before the senators came to visit him, uh, he and... Um, <clears throat> and his speechwriter were already working on something that was in his mind. But I didn't really hear anything of this until I uh, came down the mountain from the, uh, from the campsite and um, stopped in f at a barber shop to get some hair cut off my head. And uh, uh, it was the talk of the, ta talk of the uh, shop. And it, were you, so you didn't know until after the fact? He didn't alert you ahead of the fact? No, no, he didn't alert me to anything that he had to decide. It was something that had to be uh, um, out of his own mind, privately, and it's uh, it's always uh, fun and amusing almost to watch the intransigence of uh, of some reporters who lived through that time and could never see through the one issue that uh, all began with John Dean's actions.